Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a chocolate coke cake. So let's get started. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then in a small saucepan, add the butter, coke, or you probably call it coca-cola and canola oil, or you can use vegetable oil, and place the saucepan over a medium-high heat and heat the mixture until it boils, stirring it occasionally. Then remove it from the heat and set it aside for now. Then in a large bowl, add in the flour and sugar, and whisk them together until they're combined. Then add in the coke mixture and mix it in until it's combined. Then add in the eggs. Sift in the cocoa powder to get rid of any lumps. And also add in the baking soda, buttermilk, and vanilla extract. And mix them in until they're combined. Try not to overmix the batter. Then grease a 9 by 13 inch baking pan with nonstick cooking spray and pour the batter into the pan and bake it in the oven for about 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean and once it's done, remove it from the oven and set it aside and let it cool slightly then to make the frosting in a medium bowl add the softened butter and cocoa powder. Mix them with an electric mixer on low speed until they're combined. Then add in the coke or coca-cola, chocolate syrup, and vanilla extract and mix them in by hand until they're mostly combined. Don't worry about combining it completely. Then add in the powdered sugar, adding just half a cup at a time, and mix it well with the electric mixer on low speed after each time. and finish it by hand to make sure all the ingredients are mixing in. And then frost the cake while it's still warm. Don't worry if some of the frosting melts, that's part of what makes it really good. And if you like, you can serve it while it's still warm. Just cut a piece and add a scoop of ice cream too if you like. And that's how to make a chocolate coke cake. Check out more of my videos here and subscribe to my channel here so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.